proposed legislation aimed at protecting federal judges and their families. It comes just two and a half months after a federal judge was targeted in a violent home invasion in New Jersey. CBS 2's Nick Calloway has more. Sunday, July 19th, a gunman pretending to be a FedEx driver rang the doorbell of the North Brunswick, New Jersey home of Esther Salas, a wife, mother, and federal judge. Salas's 20-year-old son, Daniel, was shot and killed. Her husband, Mark Anderl, was shot three times but survived. The alleged shooter, 72-year-old Roy Den Hollander, a self-described anti-feminist lawyer, was later found dead of suicide. Judge Salas believes her home was targeted because of her position as a judge. She said the killer was able to find her personal information on the Internet. The monster knew where I lived and, where, and what church we attended and had a complete dossier on me and my family. That attack has sparked new federal legislation to shield the personal information of federal judges and their families. It was introduced in Newark Monday by U.S. Senators Bob Menendez and Cory Booker and Congresswoman Mikey Sherrill. No person who takes on the responsibility, the awesome responsibility of serving as a federal judge to serve the public, to serve their nation, should ever have to live in fear. The bill would prohibit government agencies from publicly posting a judge's sensitive information. It would provide funding for state and local governments to protect a judge's privacy and would prohibit commercial data collectors from selling, trading, or publicly posting the personal information of federal judges. Now, we may not be able to eliminate hatred from someone's heart, but what we can do is make sure that men and women who serve on the federal bench do not make for such easy targets. The legislation was named the Daniel Anderl Judicial Security and Privacy Act of 2020 in honor of Judge Salas's son. In Newark, Nick Calloway, CBS 2 News.